We're asked to multiply these two expressions and then simplify our answer as much as possible. And since the first is a binomial with two terms and the second is binomial with two terms, I'm gonna start off by distributing the first part, the three square roots of six, and multiply it by the two square roots of three. So on the outside, three times two would give me six and on the inside of the radical the square root of six times the square root of three would give me the square root of 18 and then to finish the distribution I would take the three square roots of six and multiply them by the second term which the three and the four are both outside the radical so three times four is a positive 12 and the square root of six doesn't have anything to multiply with but it's still there because we distributed the square root of six. So I've multiplied three square roots of six by both terms. Now I need to come back and multiply the two by both terms. So first two times the two square roots of three gives me two times two on the outside is four and then the square root of three on the inside. Finishing the distribution two times four gives me just two times four is eight. So I've distributed and done the multiplication, but I'm also gonna need to simplify as much as possible. So the first expression here will simplify because 18 can be written as nine times two underneath the radical. And so I can pull out the nine as a three. And since the six is already out there, six times three gives me an 18 square root of two. And then the other terms, I'm just gonna bring down. 12 square roots of six, four square roots of three, and the eight. Since that was only part of the expression that simplified, and I wasn't left with any like terms. I've got square root of two, square root of six, square root of three, and no square roots. No like terms for me to combine here. So we've simplified as much as possible. 